Hi, this is 30 seconds with me. Hi, this is 30 seconds. This is 30 seconds with me. This is 30 seconds with me. This is 30 seconds with me, Brittany McGowan. I'm a senior at Birmingham Groves. My favorite restaurant is Olga's. I like Olga's because I like all of their shakes. My favorite sport is volleyball. Favorite movie, Remember the Titans. Favorite television show would be The Office. The Office is so funny. I love it. I'm planning on going to college somewhere in the Big Ten. In my future, I plan on being a swim coach and hopefully a physical therapist. I drive a blue Taurus. You like it? <laughs> if I could beat any team, I'd beat Sea Home. I'd say, hi, Matt Watson. <laughs> and that was 30 seconds with me, Brittany McGowan. All right, Brittany, thanks a lot. Now, Brittany is part of that Grove swim team that's going for five straight state Division II championships. Now, this isn't Brittany. That's my friend Gabrielle, and Gabrielle's going to take us home here. Rick Chapsky caught up with the team as they go for one for the thumb. The four-time defending state champs at Groves are preparing for a new year. And if the Falcons want to keep the streak going, everyone will have to step up. Don't start getting back. Right? Remember to get the elbows in. We had a fantastic class of seniors last year you know, that won each one of their years. And you know, they've kind of left their mark on the school and, and the community. And now um, you know, it's up to the, the rest of us who are left over to um, you know, continue that tradition. We have good people now. Like We have really good freshmen, and that helps a lot. And then some of our other like sophomore class have moved up and they've trained over the summer and they've been working really hard. You guys can help you stay up with them the whole way. Even if you're tired, it doesn't really matter. You really have to like work your hardest so to set a good example and then help all of them like try their hardest even when they're like tired. The winning and tradition aren't lost on the current crop of Falcon swimmers. It's it really means a lot to be a part of the team that like does so well and is like such a close team and able to help each other. It is a lot of pride and makes me feel good to be on a state champ team for the past 4 years and hopefully a fifth year this year. <laughs> Countless hours in this pool swimming lap after lap, Coach Matt Watson has these girls prepared for any challenge. We know people are out there gunning for us four straight state championships. We prepare them the same way every year. It's about you know, making sure they're getting the food they need, making sure they're getting the sleep they need, and you know, making sure they're coming and working hard in practice every day. Basically, I don't know, we do a lot of training and work with like stroke technique. Good job. One more left. We just swim a lot. A lot of swimming and a lot of winning has built a lot of traditions at Groves. Some a little stranger than others. I'm not sure where it started, but we're not allowed to shave our legs come the like first day of school. Most of the kids at our school know that swimmers aren't supposed to shave their legs during the season, so like they're used to it, but like they're pretty grossed out. <laughs> it's really like a mindset. Once we're allowed to shave them right before our like championship meet, and when we do that, it makes us go faster and the mindset to go faster. I guess you can't argue success. For high School Hammer Time, I'm Rick Chavsky.